I'm Matthew Drutt and this is Ion Art. In this week's segment, we're coming to you from Art Los Angeles Contemporary. Now in its fourth edition, its third year at Barker Hangar at Santa Monica Airport, it has over 70 galleries from all over the world showing contemporary art in all of its iterations. So why don't you come on inside and we'll take a look at some of the highlights. We're fortunate to have such amazing artists who live and work and teach and stay in Los Angeles. And with an enormous amount of contemporary art galleries, we really felt to start with the local backbone was really the key. The ambition for the first three editions was half Los Angeles galleries, half non-Los Angeles galleries. We're talking to Tracy Williams this afternoon about one of her artists, Simran Gill, uh, who's based in Australia. Uh, Simran works in a variety of mediums. She works in photography, installation, sculpture, uh, works on paper. Uh, her work is generally about a post-colonial expansion in Southeast Asia. This is a, a new work, it's called On the Beach. Oftentimes, uh, Simran uses books, and they're fairly important in terms of using them in collages, using them in installations as collections, but in this case, she was very intrigued by the paper color. So she collected a group together, created from the elimination of them, the washing them away with a very dark blue, with a hint of black acrylic paint. Usually she chooses a text to obliterate for the yes. meaning of and resonance of the text, but in this case something else is going on. Yeah. This piece in particular has uh, a real kind of alignment to abstraction. I mean it has this suprematist uh, orientation and that's obviously no mistake. Yes, that's very true. We're at David Kudransky's booth where he has a, a solo presentation of work by Richard Jackson. Jackson has been a fixture of the Los Angeles art scene for the last 30 odd years. And over the course of his decades long career which covers installation, performance, uh, and various other kinds of activities, he's explored the language of painting in a very unconventional way. He has shot paintings with paintball guns, uh, he's crashed airplanes into canvases, uh, he's turned the whole act of painting into a kind of performative activated gesture. And this installation, which is sculptural, um, refers to that activity. To my left is a bronze, uh, which actually incorporates a self-portrait. In the booth, there's actually a drawing for a wall mural that he plans to install uh, at the Villa Stuck. And I'm told that in Orange County, uh, he's constructed uh, a giant, uh, I think it's a bear, uh, that's going to piss paint all over the museum. We're at Kate Werbel's gallery. Uh, she has a solo installation by Sarah E. Wood, who's an artist from New York. Uh, Sarah's work generally deals with a kind of elasticity of solid or permanent forms, drooping fences, casting the shadow through a window into a kind of flexible sculpture. Uh, her works deal often with the traces of things, the remnants of things, the fragments of things, and indeed, in the booth today, this body of work refers specifically to that kind of activity. Well, we have four pieces by Sarah. The first is a sculpture called Untitled Fragments, and it's made of plaster and ink with plastic on top of these brass rods. Sarah was really interested in casting this work and sort of having it appear as concrete, and she cast it with a, with a rope um, on the center, so you can see the traces of the rope in it. And when she was making this sculpture, she was laying sheets of plastic down in her studio and casting um, the sculpture on top of the plastic. And that's how she ended up with these works, which are called Untitled Remnants. It's a fascinating way to make two works using essentially the same materials. 